Great, I finally get to be on TV with guys uglier than me. I'd f you. I would. And I'd f you, Shags. Let's go f each other. <laughs> Let's go f ourselves, huh? I call middles. <laughs> Welcome back to Insane Clown Posse Theater. Sugar Slam, we are ready for Jim Norton. Jim, I'm really glad you're here today. Thank you, it's delightful to be here. But I did hear that you had a beef with Jesse Ventura. We did have a big argument. He wanted to punch me in the face, that's true. Okay, well I hope it's not because you don't like wrestlers, because these guys will f you up. No, that's not why it was. Hi, guys. Please. Scoot your fat ass, Shaggy. Oh, this is what I like. Call me a lucky boy. Yeah, I hope you don't mind close-sativity. Go ahead and I'm not making a move on no, you. No, no, no. Even if you are, it's your show. Just letting my belly breathe a little bit. a boy. I know when you go on the road and you play in a comedy club and there's other female comedians on the set, I know they got to be on your nuts because you're a national celebrity. They could care less. The, com the female comics are the hardest ones. I'd rather bang your bartender than the female comics. They're terrible. Are you serious? They, no, I mean, some of them are sexy, I get no vibes whatsoever from When you them. said you'd rather bang the bartender, were you talking about Vamp or Hammer? Because Hammer's way more attractive. I was talking about Hammer. Okay. He does have the lovely blonde wig flowing down his shoulders. Yeah, don't say he. Let me have the illusion. All chicks love a man that will make them laugh. They love a good-looking man that will make them laugh. They like a clown boy to hang out with, and I mean that like in my sense, and then they want to go home and the bouncer. I don't want to call you on your Sure. But, you know, I saw you some of your comedy. I've heard you call yourself fat. I don't know if you lost weight. I did, yeah. You lost a lot of weight. I lost about 30 pounds. Okay, because you're not fat. All right, when, you talk, when you're sitting next to a fat man, <laughs> right, that's I think cool it shows in, in bold highlight, you're not fat, brother. I, I don't feel like fat, but I, I feel like I'm just, I'm kind of like, like mushy. When I take off my clothes, like women are like, eh. like I, 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 they're kind of like, all right. Who cares? I'm, you're already at the point where you're taking off your clothes. Yes. You're already scoring. And I paid them, Who gives so. a what that broad thinks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. You know, I think I just kind of, I wear women down. They're like, all right, I'll f I'm too tired to walk home. So that's pretty much why I get laid. But it, it, don't, it don't matter what, what field of entertainment you're in. Like, wrestlers have rats. Uh, 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 musicians have groupies. Yeah. What, what, are, what are they called in the comedy field? Fat girls. <laughs> well, I think that's, that's basically covers all spectrum. <laughs> I would take music, musicians' life over comics' life any day. Music hits a girl in her crotch. In comedy, you never hear like, oh, that was really funny. Oh, 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 oh. It just doesn't happen. Believe for me, you happen. or for all comics? Um, it, it Joe doesn't... Rogan, for example, buffed out stud. Yeah. And also a Miss Martial Artist. Also the host of Fear Factor. Also the host of your mama's anus. Every show on TV yes. he does. It, Joe Rogan it's broad. You can't tell me he doesn't. Rogan could, uh, because Rogan is, a, is, again, he's the alpha male, though. He has that in shape thing, like the washboard abs. And he has, you ever see Rogan's hands? He has, like, chimp knuckles. He's like a, a animal Joe Rogan. So women feel safe with him, so they bang him. He has the rare combination of comedian and, like, outside alpha male. Most of us don't have that combination. Well, you know, you got the quick wit, you got the national celebrity, you got the fame, and you got uh, an attractive face. Thank you. And uh, I don't see anything holding you back. Maybe it's self-confidence. You're probably right. I'm and I've also shy. heard comedians are very not self-confident in real life. Is that true? Yes. Uh, that's, the, that's why you have this desperate need. It really is just emotionally tap dancing for people. You want people to like you. That's why you're funny. That's how you get girls when you're younger. It's like, you know, you make them laugh. That's the only way you meet girls. Jim? Yeah. Where are you most comfortable, brother? Um, I like radio because you can kind of meander a little bit and talk uh, before is you Is it because you life. can't be seen? Yes, because I can just hide behind the mic and whatever I say, people believe. Is that really yeah. why you like radio? I pretend there's girls in the studio. Because we can turn this session into therapy right now and get you past that. Oh, I can really use some. So how about a video? As long as we can sit close together and watch it. <laughs> That's our specialty. We like it extra close around here. Extra, extra close. Sugar Slam, what do we have next? A lot of thrusting in this one. It's LMFAO with Sexy and I Know It. <laughs> When I walk on by, girls be looking like Debbie Fly. I picked to the beat, walking down the street, and my new the freak. See, now I like this video. This is about good times, and I got nothing wrong with a good time. I like that guy, because that's what every guy wants, a giant box on his face. This is like half, looks like half the gangs of the Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, see? Wow. <laughs> yeah, my favorite part of the video right here. Yeah, my scout master used to wear those. <laughs> this guy's great. His head looks like every 
A 70s porn film. Why do I think that Ron Jeremy just showed up on the set that day and lucked out? You know what I'm saying? I don't think they prearranged him to be there. I think he happened to be there and got extra lucky that the video blew up. Do you know Ron? He's a chief. Yes. He probably just showed up to eat the free craft services. Heard <laughs> <laughs> there was free food on the set and he just showed up to shove it in his face. This was obviously filmed in Long Beach. I mean, in. Uh, uh, Virginia, uh, Virginia, what, Beach. What, Virginia Beach. No, not Virginia Beach. No. Venice Beach. Venice Beach. California. What am I saying? I, I say we just, we're sitting close already. Let's just pull our pants off and just start swinging our d There's plenty of d swinging happening on the screen. We're good. Hey, it's, it's, it's not gay if you swing your d and you laugh about it. <laughs> Did somebody just grab his I believe they did. Wow. And he's snapping towels on dicks. Yeah. This whole video's revolving around the dick piece. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of this video. Not yeah, you know, the song I liked, you know what I'm saying? The video, that's another story. You know, a little too many man panties going on out here there is for my personal taste. There is something beautiful about this, though. Just ugly men and hot girls. There's something really nice to be said about that. That, that I'll agree with. That, that I'll agree with. But when this video went number one, when this video blew up like it did, how happy was Ron Jeremy? <laughs> you know Probably gave himself credit for it. Well, you know, it was a good <laughs> video. I noticed there's a lot of manscaping going on there as well. Of course, they knew they were going to be dicking off, having a dick off. Hammer back here was starting to bust a move. He was getting into the video. Well, well maybe we could have a dick off of the five of us. We can go right now. <laughs> that That's the hammer. That means it's hammer time, brother. <laughs> Sketch, scoop. We don't with the hammer. No, I wouldn't either. <laughs> Can I go out with you? Yeah, yeah, come on. Thanks. Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. A nice gentle man-to-man -man escorting. There we go. That's right. Take it easy, brother. All Thank right. you for coming on the show. I'm gonna go drill a hole in the bathroom wall. <laughs> What's your next video?